Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. Last we left off, we had gotten the works key from the douchers up there, in the place with the whatchamacallit, where they were trying to steal honey, because that's part of Team Galactic's master plan. I almost called them Team Platinum. It's definitely Team Galactic. I'm going to steal these fruit. They now belong to me. Because this is definitely not illegal. You can totally just go up to buildings with, with some kind of fruit tree and just take all of the fruit. And apparently take down the entire tree while you're at it. Because, you know, if you pluck two berries off of a tree, then the tree just disintegrates into nothing. That's how plants work, man. So we're going to head on over to the Valley Windworks and deal with Team Galactic, because they're being a right bunch of douchers. That they are. Let's check our team really quick before we step inside. We've got Shadow at level 18 now. He's still rocking the Quick Claw. And he has Scratch Rapid Spin, Swift, and Poison Sting, so pretty awful moveset. But if I ever run into a Stealth Rocker, I've got Rapid Spin, so that's good. Then we've got Sparks over here with Sonic Boom, Tackle, Quick Attack, and Detect. Krikarov has Thundershock, Quick Attack, Leer, and Ember. And then Megachomp has Sandstorm, Tackle, Takedown, Dragon Rage, and they are all level 18, good to go. And then we've got BJ and Moustache just chilling back here as fodder, pretty much. BJ is just here because he can smash rocks. It's locked from inside, it's a good thing I've got a key! Let's go. Oh no, he figured out how to open a locked door. What? No way, you have the key? Locking the door is meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Yeah, you better run. Piece of garbage. All right then. So now we have to fight our way to Mars, I believe is the executive that is here. Boy, this is no fun in games. This is proper work, I tell you. It's all a game for me, buddy. It's all the game. And you're the butt of the joke. Because jokes and games correlate perfectly. Don't question it. I'm going to poison you. Get the poison, 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 get the poison. Aww. And then it growled at me. This has just really ruined my day, if I'm honest. I should have gone for the rapid spin kill, because I'm fancy, but I clicked poison sting before even thinking about it. Hooray, I murdered a Lotad! What? Some brat messed up my job. Your job is a joke and so is your existence. I'm not gonna battle that guy, because that guy looks like a douche. Who wants to battle him? He's a loser. Yo, what's up? I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait, that's one of four commanders. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one, but people have shown little understanding about what we do. Why are you giving me a rundown of what your entire plan is? You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Sounds fair to me. Two Mons, leading with the Spinarak. Not bad, not bad. Shadow, you got this, I believe in you. Scratch it, scratch it hard. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice three hit KO. Oh no, my speed! What is the base speed of a Sand Slash? I feel like it isn't that high. I can't remember for the life of me. I want to say it's like 60, 70, somewhere around there. Also, I still outsped the spinner rack after a scary face, so I assume it's not as low as I'm thinking it is. It might be higher than that. I don't know. Now it outspeeds me. But then again, how slow is a spinner rack? Probably really slow. Slower than a sand slash. Ariados might be faster than sand slash. I can't remember its base stats for the life of me. Vespa Queen. Vespa Queen. Krakarov, it's your time to shine. Burn this thing to ash. The foe's Vespa, Vespa Quinn is exerting pressure. Oh no! You got this, Krakarov. This is gonna be easy. That is not a two hit KO. I got the burn! Look at me! Getting the burn on Ember. I am so competitive. I am so good at this game. This is how you play the game. Now go ahead and raise your defenses. You're burned. I actually didn't remember the burn animation from 4th gen. I kind of like it. I also didn't know defend order raised both defenses. I thought it only raised your physical defense. This Vesper Queen is also very competitive because not only did it raise its defense stats, but it also went for a uh, confusion move. I went for a quick attack even though I'm pretty sure I'm faster, but it's fine because I punched myself in the mouth. 
Ah, uh, you thought I was gonna switch out because of the confusion. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice and competitive. Ah, oh, you lived? Come on, man. Are you kidding me right now, Krakarov? Like, seriously, dude? If I get crit here, crit probably wouldn't kill me. Yeah, I'm fine. A crit wouldn't have killed me if it only does four without a crit. Yay, I win! That's a lot of experience. Holy cow, that got me a level up. I thought it would stop just before a level up, but I will gladly take the level up. This can't be. I lost. You you uppity brat. How am I uppity? All I did was beat the tar out of you fair and square. Oops, I messed that one up. That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. Good for you. My, my. Lose to a child, will you? But no matter. We've collected plenty of electricity. You, you've collected electricity. Nice. With the power we obtained, we can do something quite spectacular. It seems quite obvious to me, Sharon, the genius even the boss recognizes. Oh, he said Sharon is in the third person. Now, Mars, we should be going. Will you shut it? The boss is the only person in the world who's allowed to order me around. You can keep quiet around me. You only joined us recently. Don't think you're important. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. S see you later? Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new Ver universe. B Verniverse? Yeah, Verniverse. Or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Are you the only person working here? Papa! Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. That's just rude. Oh, sorry. Ahaha, uh -huh. they had me working nonstop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. Could we really not give the little girl a name? I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. Okay, I don't care about this anymore. Can, can we stop? Like, this is all just talking about how you can get Drifloon on Fridays, and this is a randomized game, so I can't even get a Drifloon on Fridays. I might not be able to get a Drifloon, period, in this game. Oh, hey, it's Looker. Ah, yes, it is you. Yes, I have heard that the Team Galactic appeared at this power plant. I have, therefore, come running, so the Team Galactic, where are they? I beat the tar out of them. You have run them off, you say? You are a trainer, but... Very well, I shall go investigate inside. Cool. It's not letting me move. Do I have to wait for him to come back out and talk to me? Of course I do. Magnificent. Yes, it is. What you have said, it is all true. Did you doubt me, Looker? Superb. Though you are young, you are a trainer through and through. Very well, I shall pursue the culprits. I have received tips that the Team Galactic hideout is in Eterna City. To there, I must be off. See you around. I guess. That's my next stop, too. We gotta get on over to Eterna City for the... Whatchamacallit? I'm gonna try and get through the forest up ahead before I end this episode. That's what I would like to do. That way we can do Eterna City stuff next episode, in the second gym. Make sure I heal up, because all my Pokemon need to be at full health at basically all times. I need to make sure I have Pokeballs, because we're about to get an encounter. Cool, cool. We hope to see you again. Yep, I hope to see me again, too. I'm a pretty cool dude. Got a snazzy outfit. With this cool scarf. Didn't check my Pokeballs. Hold up a second. Uh, 14 Pokeballs. We should be fine. Hopefully we can buy Great Balls after we beat the Eterna Gym. Because I'm pretty sure it's what number of Gym Badges you have that decides what items you can buy. Hey, how about you and me battle before I go into Eterna Forest? Sounds cool. I'm challenged by Camper Jacob. He's got a Haunter. Wait, this is actually really bad because I don't think I can hit this. I have three normal moves and a poison move. Wait... Wait, Haunter is the perfect counter to my Sand Slash. Wait. I definitely should have gone into Gibble instead, but it's too late now. I grind them all up to the same level off screen anyway, so it's fine. It doesn't matter who I use more in the episodes. No! He's spiteful. I actually really wish that this was my wild encounter and I could just catch a Haunter. That would be awesome. Also, if I could get another fire move on Krikarov, that would be great. Just saying. And I know the next fire move I'm gonna get is Flame Wheel, which is worthless to me, because I'm a calm nature. Uh, da -da. I'm just gonna leave Shadow in front, it should be fun. I doubt we'll run into many Pokemon, many ghost types. Obviously, we'll run into a bit of Pokemon. Our encounter is a Lickitung. Ew. I don't even want this. Like, do I... Do I have to catch this? Look at this thing. I don't want this. I'm... I'm... 
Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna regret it if I don't catch it. I'm not even putting this thing on my team. It licked me. Disgusting. You would get the lick paralysis. What is the chance that lick paralyzes you? Like 30%? Well, I guess that means it's like a scald burn. And I'm fully paralyzed turn one, but now that he's used defense curl, he should live a scratch. Can, can you stop? I was honestly really kind of hoping I would crit there so it would just be dead and I could move on with my life. Stay in the Pokeball. Stay. 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 Oh my goodness. What am I going to name this stupid thing? Get in the Pokeball. Get in the Pokeball. Stay. Stay. Oh my freaking goodness. I do not want to be here right now. <laughs> this thing is literally doing one damage with Lick. It does not have enough Lick PP to be able to kill my my uh, Hedgehog here. You're a Sand Slash, and your name is Shadow. It's right there on the screen, but I couldn't think of it. All right, if he does not stay in this Pokeball, I'm leaving, because I'm not even going to use this thing. And then I don't have to name it. Oh, uh, watch it stay in, because I said that. Yep, there it is. Now I have to name it. Great. Joy, oh joy. What's that basketball player who always sticks his tongue out when he takes a shot? It's Michael Jordan, right? Michael Jordan? I'm pretty sure it's Michael Jordan who does the whole tongue thing. Whoops. Name you Michael. This is after Michael Jordan, not after my friend Michael who's watching this series, I'm pretty sure. There you go. I'm never going to use that thing. I don't care how good he is at basketball. A lax incense. Nice. So now I can breed a Snorlax to get a Munchlax. I think that's what lax is for. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. Gahaha, here goes. What, are, are we going hiking? You talked about hiking and then said, here, here it goes, but then you challenged me to a Pokemon battle. Not only that, but you challenged me with the level 10 Smoochum, and I'm still paralyzed. Hey, Quick Claw, not bad. Oh, nice, Quick Claw Paralysis, my favorite combo. And now I'm confused. This is going wonderfully. Can I have a Lumberry, please? I believe in you, Shadow. I'm definitely getting parafusioned right now by a Smoochum. But I O-code it with Scratch, so it's fine. I have a Cherry Berry, right? I should use a Cherry Berry after I finish this battle. I definitely just sent out my Bug Flying type against a Snow Run that gets Icy Wind at like level three. How did I get so good at this game? The sarcasm is real. Sonic Boom is my best bet. Sonic Boom is almost always my best bet. You live that. Oh, you use Double Team. That's just wonderful. Now we're in VGC competitive. Only singles, somehow. Please don't miss. Thank you. Uh, can Sonic Boom miss? I don't actually know. Is Sonic Boom a no accuracy move? I feel like it can miss. Sfeel. I'm just gonna stay in. Sfeel probably gets Ice Ball at level two, but I'm gonna stay in. Cause like I mentioned earlier, I'm good at the game. Watch this thing super crit a uh, blizzard. Not nah, use Growl, it's cool. <laughs> Never mind. Really dodged a bullet there. Growl and Blizzard, basically the same move. I'm really lucky that he chose Growl over the two. Which he definitely gets Growl by level 12. Can confirm. Oh yeah, refreshing battle that was. It was indeed. All right then. Do, do, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna skip a couple of trainers cause who cares? I guess I'm fighting you. I like this hiker music. I've lost my way here of all places. So I'm gonna battle you for no apparent reason. That way, while I'm lost, my Pokemon can also be depleted of health because you're gonna beat me. That's a neat arena. It's like a fake hedgehog. Look at it. It's got like the same stature as a hedgehog. It thinks it can be a hedgehog, but it's not a real hedgehog. Show it who the real hedgehog is, Shadow. I also did not use a cherry berry on you because I'm a smart person. That is a nice three to four hit KO. Not even bad. Can I have some max damage rolls, please? 
Ah, you see, I predicted you. I got paralyzed about three battles ago. That way you couldn't poison me with your poison sting. Get wrecked. I absolutely counter-teamed this fake hedgehog. I even ate up the crit, and I got paralyzed. Okay. Quick claw, go! Aww. Quick claw, you didn't activate when I told you to. And it lived. This is unfortunate. By the way, my special attack stat is complete garbage, I'm pretty sure, which is why I'm using Scratch over Swift, because even though Swift is a higher base power, I'm pretty sure Scratch does more. And now I'm level 19. I'm gonna put Mega Chomp in front. Fury swipes, that's better than Scratch. Even though the accuracy is garbage. Uh... Uh... Get... Get rid of... Uh... Get rid of Swift. Special moves are not useful on this thing. I want to keep Scratch for when I need accuracy. Like when I can't afford to miss. Because Fury Swipes has like 85 accuracy in this gen. Do, 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 do. There's an item over there. And I want it. Don't touch me. Give me this. An Iron Plate. Nice. I don't think I have any Steel type moves on my team. <laughs> Let me put Mega Chomp in front. We're gonna fight this chick right here. Let's do this. I like this music too. Hiya! There's no holding anything back. Let's go. What you got? What you got? What you got? A bronze ore? I am so glad that I am leading with my dragon ground type right now. You got this, Mega Chomp. I believe in you. Dragon Rage. Yeah, I probably just annihilated your entire little dinner plate. No, it's alive. You have over 40 HP. What is Bronze Ore's base HP? This thing is only level 15. Well, level 15, depending on the mod, is about where you would start getting 40 HP. I definitely just did 10 damage to myself. If you're trying to sleep fuse me, get out of my life, Bronze Ore. Goodbye. Take your soul with you on the way out. I I concede. I think you're on a different level. Yeah, it's called the level of amazingness. You should try it sometime. Now we're gonna fight this chick. Oh, I don't know. Should I play a little? I'm going to choose not to take this out of context and just focus on the battle. Baby Rye! It's Baby Rye! Baby Rye, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you, like, be... Annoying Ryquin on his uh, Egglock series he's doing right now called the Rylock. Yeah, baby Rye, go go back over there. Baby Rye, can you not lit? Okay. Really glad that baby Rye came over here to annoy me instead of Ryquin. That's great. Nah, take down. Bye. Bye, baby Rye. That is a lot of experience. Oh, boo, how insulting. I'm trying to use baby rye against me. You heal me, right? Yes. How much time have I got? Oh, we're at 18 minutes. Let's, uh, and we're not gonna get through the forest today, obviously. It took me longer to get up here than I thought it would, and I definitely misjudged the time. Let's go pick up some items. Did I just get two iron plates in the same area? I'm fairly certain I just got a second iron plate. Wait a second. Did I? Yeah, I have two of them now, and no steel types. Or steel type moves, even. Ah, screw it, I'm fighting you. I was gonna wait for her to turn. What kinds of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? There's no telling after I randomized it all. I'm challenged by Picnic or Sienna, who has a Starly. This is incredibly standard for fourth gen at this point in the game. Are you sure you're not supposed to be here? I feel like you're just supposed to be here normally. I also feel like you don't have over 40 HP. I was correct! I'm finally right about something. Someone write this down in a history book. Nice and level 19. Sand Tomb, finally a ground type move. I mean, I still have Dragon Rage, so I don't need any other type moves for like, I don't know, 20 more levels? Level, level 30 is probably when Dragon Rage will stop being a two hit KO on everything. Ladian, I feel like Ladian has a really low base HP. Ladian, is your base HP really- Oh, you're level 12. You're dead. I really doubt you have 40 HP at level 12. Most bugs have low HP, from what I remember. 
Yep. Called it. What level does Gibble evolve? 28? Or is it... Hmm. Can't remember when it evolves into Gabite. I got an Ice Heal. I also feel like this wasn't randomized. Like, I could definitely see getting an Ice Heal here. Let me just disintegrate these trees out of existence really quick. Don't mind me. I can clearly see two blue spheres that are the orange berries on the tree, but I was only able to pick one before the entire thing disintegrated because this game makes a lot of sense. I don't want to battle this chick. Awesome. Is there an item over there? Nope. All right, sweet. We're out. Do, 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 do. We are going to go up here, and we can get in there now. Many poison type Pokemon make the Eternal Forest their home. I wonder how many poison types are actually in here right now. Do. Does over is over there going to count as a different encounter? From it changes from Route 205 to Eternal Forest when I run over here, but I don't know what's going to be when I actually step out of the forest. Whatever. All right, we're going to go ahead and save here because we're just over 20 minutes. When we come back, we're going to go through the Eternal Forest where we're going to get uh, Cheryl as a partner who will walk around with us and heal our Pokemon in battle alongside us. And if I am not mistaken, Cheryl's Pokemon should be randomized. She normally has a Chansey, but there's no telling what Mon she's going to have to help us fight through this. So that's going to be really interesting to see what she has. Hopefully it's a decent Mon. I don't need it to be anything crazy, but I don't want it to be like a Weedle. If it's like a Weedle, we're going to be in trouble, because every battle here is double battle when you're with Cheryl. Alright, so yeah, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Until then, farewell.